Good morning. It's uh, Sunday, September 16th, 2018. And I'm, as you can tell, <coughs> climbing again. This time I'm on a trail going to Mount Singing Ray. Uh, mostly a green tunnel the entire hike. So views are very confined. Bugs. I will uh, see what I can shoot. It's gonna be very overcast it looks like. So maybe a little bit of a boring hike. They can't all be beautiful, can they? Ah. Okay, and uh, that's the uh, Garmin telling me it finally saw the sun or the uh, sky and the messages got out. All right, I'll put you away, get back with you in just a little bit. wouldn't be hiking in Japan if we didn't have a few uh, mountain shrines on the way up the trail. This one has a pretty nice view of the valley. But we shall go this way and continue our climb up. remember coming through this area years ago when they actually did the clear cut and there was nothing here. It's just ugly dirt. It's amazing how fast these trees have grown. It does open up the view though. All right, coming into the first of the trailside restaurants because there's a road it goes by most of these, most of the early part of the trail. There's a couple of businesses that have taken advantage of it. This one's kind enough to actually put spring water or river water flowing so you can refill your bottles if you need to. And another shrine. There's quite a few of these you'll see on the trail. Okay, we're on uh, trail proper now. It's, uh, we've left the uh, road. I know it's going to parallel for a little bit longer. And uh, we'll be on the trail from this point on. Well, we depart the road permanently. And uh, this is the last of the trailside restaurants. It's a nice little udon place that does uh, tempura, uh, vegetable tempura. They actually grow the vegetables in their own garden. Uh, eating there with the family once, it's pretty nice. They have this lovely little water wheel too. I don't know if it's operational or not. Oh yeah, it sure is. So let's get some shots of that and then we'll press on. Obviously it's uh, currently closed because it's not quite much time yet. Excuse my hand. Last order before we uh, make our clean up. From here on out, it's uh, dry. I got two and a quarter of bleed over on so I made up for me. It's funny, uh, this is a nice little picnic spot. A lot of people stop here. 
few years back we stopped with my family and uh, my son ended up naming that tree Michelle Obama. He did it because it was bigger and fatter than the other trees in the forest. <laughs> Not my opinion, that's just what my little one said. So, anyway, it's nice to see the old break area. We need a picnic here. We've done this farm quite frequently. Anyway, back to the top. Trail's starting to level out a little bit, so we're getting closer to the top. Interesting. The tree has a name. I think that's Momi. Hmm, maybe that's the type of tree. I'll have to look that up later when I get back. All right, back at the climbing. Crossing a little bit of a talus slope. Oh, I hate these areas. This one's fairly new. Uh, when I say fairly, within the past few years. So something must have broken loose up ahead and uh, come down the trail. <laughs> These must be tree names, because uh, can't see any other reason for them. But I'll look them up when this I get. This area was overrun with uh, kudzu vines that were just killing the forest completely. So they came through with an eradication and uh, pretty much killed off all the vines. You can still see some of the stumps sticking out of the ground from the vines, where they were just cut off. Uh, Definitely opened it up a lot. Gives a sort of a park light feel to it. Singaray Peak. And uh, we have this uh, nice little shelter here we're about to come across. It's good with uh, toilets nearby. Big open area. It'd be great for camping. Although they don't do it here. Shelter. A little day use area. Peaks up here. Toilet's tucked in the back. Now yeah, we'll proceed on to the peak. Area. Haven't done a lot of walking yet, um, so I think I'm going to continue down the ridge line a little bit further just to get a little bit more uh, distance in and then uh, head back home. I mean, I'll get on the trail about two hours, so at least another hour and then, then I'll turn around. All right. I'll check back with you later. See all the way down into the valley. This trail is not as well used, so it's pretty overgrown. Good thing I wore my long pants today. <laughs> some points it's a real, real knife edge. Right there. Right there. Right there. 
Okay, that was the peak. Now I'm just going to turn around and go back down this same trail we just walked up. Whew. Up three hours to climb five miles. <laughs> that was slow. Oh well. At least uh, it's mostly down here from here, downhill from here, so it's going to be easy. Yeah. All right, let's see what kind of speed I can do going back, and I will see you later down the trail. It's a trail reroute. I've already walked this once. Uh, I didn't film it last time, but uh, it's quite a bit of uh, work they did carving this out of the side of the hill. Further on, I saw the actual damage in the trail goes over a cliffside which actually collapsed and took the whole thing out so I think this was a permanent rear out which is why they did so much work on it anyway a bit of a climb collapse down there you can see it well I can see it I don't know about it on camera but the trails just right there and this is the last of the reroute <sighs> pretty sketchy here especially in the muddy muddy landscape after that rainstorm we had but that's okay. We will uh, finish up and uh, get back to the railroad trail and, and try to make some mileage then. As you can see, hasn't quite filled in yet, so it's just a bunch of trees. Whew. Fun, fun, fun. Fun stuff. All right, back at the shelter. Sit in the other peak. Now we'll head on down to the car. Take a look at the shrine first. Okay, let's get back to the car. Let's stop at the parking lot. In uh, 10 miles, almost five hours, a little shy of five hours, so kind of a bit slow. Yeah, another tiring day, but I did it. So 10 miles. It's pretty humid, so I'm soaking wet. Uh, temperature in the low 80s. Uh, I'm not sure how much elevation gain. Uh, it was quite a bit. Um, I will. Put it in the uh, data at the end on the slide so you can see it. I am definitely tired though. But another training hike in the can. So with that I'm going to sign off here and head back to the car and call it a day. Until next week.